My name is Ashley Sandell, um, and this is Cruz Wheeler. Um, we both work for the South Carolina Department of Transportation, um, SCDOT, and we are both civil engineers. Um, today we're going to tell you a little bit about DOT, um, tell you a little bit about civil engineering, and then tell you about how civil engineering can be applied to different areas within DOT. I will say that everyone in this room has been impacted by the decisions a civil engineer makes multiple times already this morning, from the water you took a shower with, to the roads and bridges you used to get here this morning. All of those things, uh, civil engineering plays a major, major impact in. Um, so it's a gratifying career that you are able to impact everyone around you with the decisions you make every day and the problems that you solve every day. Uh, raise your hand if your favorite subject is math. Um, I, I will say that math was probably not my favorite subject in school either, but I did understand as I got older that problem solving was something that I enjoyed, that you, similar to, to when you're solving a math problem. And that's kind of what drove me to become a civil engineer. I, I, I like learning about how things work and how to fix things. All right, y'all, so up here we have three different sizes of traffic signals, and this is what you, you know, see hanging from the um, wires on the road. Um, so I just wanted to see if y'all knew which of the three actually represents the actual signal. So the one on the far right, does anybody think that's the one that hangs from the span wire? The actual one is the first, this first one. So, so just as so, so y'all know, so why do y'all think that's so big? It's because you have to be able to see it from a far distance um, when you're approaching it, and plus it's up in the air, so you want to be able to, for it to be visible. But a traffic signal is about four feet tall, it weighs about 40 pounds, and the diameter of the bulb or the light inside is about 12 inches, so about as tall as a ruler. There's a lot of future drivers in this room that in just a few years, y'all are gonna be behind the wheel of a vehicle. Uh, I, I, I beg you to, when you do get behind and take that, take that responsibility and get behind a wheel, please put your phones down. Please pay attention to the road. There's folks like Ashley and I and, and a lot of others, the 4,000 employees of DOT and our contractor partners that are often on the side of the road working. Um, pay attention to your surroundings, obey the speed limit, and uh, you, you know that is your duty as a driver, and I hope that y'all will, y'all will you know make wise decisions with with that.